you know, you, you've had the opportunity um, to work with plenty of actors, you know, over the course of your career. Um, even heard that you've auditioned over 26,000 actors during your time um, with SVU. Um, <laughs> What, 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 makes, what makes a great actor? Well, great actors like Gene Hackman, Nick Nolte, uh, James Woods, I've worked with some pretty... The thing about great cinema actors, which certainly is uh, realized in Gene Hackman, he represents this really a, amazing cinematic actor. I mean, his performance in the conversation one of the most difficult things is to play an introvert. And he played that introvert. And you knew there was sweat in his brow. You knew exactly what he was going through. It was an amazing performance. And working with him was extraordinary. I think what it is is, what well, in his case, in, in films, he wasn't acting the character. He was the character. It wasn't acting. It was being. I could ask, I could ask him to do anything. Uh, Gene, stand on your head and read the Bible backwards. Okay. Because he would do it exactly like the character. So he had no, he had no, no inhibitions about doing anything I asked him, even if it sounded ex extreme or ridiculous or foolish, he'd do it. And it came out brilliantly because he was the person. And he needed, he would develop the script like two months in advance. He wanted the script always that way so that by the time he went on the, on the set, he had no problems about it. It was an extraordinary. And I, I remember t <clears throat> being with him, we were always, we were good friends. We were both like wine, and we were shooting in Bangkok. And I said, "Let's go to the uh, Oriental t today and have dinner upstairs." I said, "They got a great wine." They said, yeah, "Okay." We're talking with this, and I hear the AD saying, "Roll our cameras." And I said, uh, "What time should we go dinner?" I said, "Speed." And I said, "Oh, uh, Jane, we'll talk later." Action. And he just turned from me, and he turned, and from that moment, Gene Hackman turned to the Colonel. Gene, how the hell do you do that? <laughs> I never, I, just, I mean, even I, who seen a lot of good, I, I never could believe the, the depth that he would get to. Now, Nick Nolte, you know, so that, because I think the, the worst curse on a film is you see the actor acting. Uh, <laughs> forget it. You know what I mean? If you see acting, sometimes you see, you see the machinery working. It's, it's a killer. Uh, yep, the other thing, uh, Nick Nolte was a great performance too, the thing that he had, was supposedly, I said, uh, I said to him, I think I had, you know, in fact, this, I did say this, I said, <clears throat> see that, you're, you're crazy about that woman, look, this guy's putting the make on her. You're jealous and a bit irritated and perhaps the kind of level of anger at what he's doing, laying down sand with the woman you love. And, um, okay. Now, mediocre directors have jealousy written on their forehead. Yeah. It communicates to the audience, and it's, it ain't terrible. But Nick was able to communicate it and put it down to the right level, the right level of, of his emotional being. It, that jealousy is at level four or six. It ain't at level up here somewhere, because you conceal those things. And so you got it, but, but it was at the right, I can't tell you, the right emotional temperature. Yeah. And it wasn't obvious. So that's always heartening to a director when a guy realizes you, you've given him an obvious direction and he makes it real and deep and profound. You know, when, when you do work with actors and you do see that they are acting and you can tell that they're acting, how do you approach that? How, how do you get them out of that state and, and so that they are the, the character? Well, I try not to hire actors, first of all, <laughs> who don't have the skills. Uh, but, um, well, you just have to, I mean, d good actors respond to direction. You say, look, don't make it so obvious. It's a simple thing sometimes, you know. Um, and, um, or you say, get, get, give it more edge or give it, you know, your, whatever you want to do. In the rehearsals, of course, you explore the emotions. You know, I like, in my films, I always rehearse before the film starts. Not, not, many, not many directors like to do that. Some do. But I, I rehearse at least a week beforehand, and sometimes 10 days. It's a great thing because, first of all, you eliminate any quarrels with the script. What you don't want to do is on the set, Gene Hackman saying, not not Gene Hackman, because he wouldn't say that, but some actor would say, I this is a ridiculous line. You, know? so you start rewriting on the set, it's a time killer. 
Time is the most valuable thing in a film you have. It costs about $200 a minute to shoot. And so if you waste five minutes, you're blowing a thousand dollars, you know. So I try to, in the rehearsals, first of all, eliminate the, the obvious thing of, of difficulties with the script. But two, then we just explore the character, go deep into the character, discuss what we want, where, where, where this should come out, where this aspect of the character should emerge, and what part of the film it should, you know, this whole structure, the, the flow of the character, the horrible word that comes, that they use in series, the arc of the character. <laughs> but the, but it's, a, it's a useful concept because that is the arc where it starts, how it develops, and where it finishes. Mm -hmm. And that also provides the energy and the structure of your film. So, um, but yes, it just, you know, you have to find the right language for every actor. Now, I would never, with Gene Hackman, ever give him a psychiatric direction. You're doing this because your mother abused you. <laughs> Some, I've heard directors say that to actors, you know. And, uh, you never give him because that, that, that just says, don't, 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 you just screwed up my mind. <laughs> he likes, I like when I met him, he said to me, Kachev, I only want three directions from you. I said, yeah, what are those, Gene? This was our first meeting. Faster, slower, more or less, louder, softer. Faster, slower, more or less, louder, softer. Okay. <laughs> of course, I, I did, ignored it. <laughs> but they gave him the right direction, you know the right language, he loved it. And you have to find the right language for every actor you work with. You can't give, some actors love psychiatric, what I call psychiatric directions. Others, you know, as, as Gene, find it appalling. Um, so every actor uh, has, and you have to find the right language because you're working with them. Of course, you know, it's a very intense relationship with director and actor. They house, it's like husband and wife. You know, you're interlocked and it won't take long before you find out what, what moves him, what triggers him, or her, or her. And, uh, but I, to me, um, they, you know, sometimes I've been, been approached recently by a distribution company and said, Katya, are you an actress director or are you a shooter? What? Are you an actress director or are you a shooter? I said, I'm both. What are you talking about? I like directing the actors, but I certainly the camera has the angle which I look at the angle or the way, the way I photograph it is equally important. They're both, oh, a lot of actors, a lot of directors don't like to direct actors. And I said, well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not one of those. I like working with actors. It's, it's the fun of directing, exploring, exploring the scene with them and getting, getting good performances. I think that's part of the job as a director. That's the way I conceived of direction. <laughs>